Today, uh, with the executive order I am about to sign, we will bring the change that so many scientists and researchers, doctors and innovators, patients and loved ones have hoped for and fought for these past eight years. We will lift the ban on federal funding for promising embryonic stem cell research. We will also vigorously support scientists who pursue this research. And we will aim for America to lead the world in the discoveries it one day may yield. You know, at this moment, uh, the full promise of stem cell research remains unknown, and it should not be overstated. But scientists believe these tiny cells may have the potential to help us understand and possibly cure some of our most devastating diseases and conditions, to regenerate a severed spinal cord and lift someone from a wheelchair, to spur insulin production and spare a child from a lifetime of needles, to treat Parkinson's, cancer, heart disease, and others that affect millions of Americans and the people who love them. Today, with the executive order I am about to sign, we will bring the change that so many scientists and researchers, doctors and innovators, patients and loved ones have hoped for and fought for these past eight years. We will lift the ban on federal funding for promising embryonic stem cell research. We will also vigorously support scientists who pursue this research. And we will aim for America to lead the world in the discoveries it one day may yield. You know, at this moment, uh, the full promise of stem cell research remains unknown, and it should not be overstated. But scientists believe these tiny cells may have the potential to help us understand and possibly cure some of our most devastating diseases and conditions, to regenerate a severed spinal cord and lift someone from a wheelchair, to spur insulin production and spare a child from a lifetime of needles, to treat Parkinson's, cancer, heart disease, and others that affect millions of Americans and the people who love them.